Hey guys, welcome to Code Dark. Today I am sharing my interview experience at Infosys. The role for which I was interviewed is Power Programmer and the CTC offered is 8 lakhs per annum. Before moving further, I just wanted to tell you guys that at the end of this video, I am going to share with you the resources and all the materials and the sites which I referred back this interview and to crack the quick infi coding round. So please stay till the end of the video. So first let's see what are the ways through which you can get into the Infosys. One is through Hack with Infi which I cracked and another one is through InfiDQ. Now you might say that Hack with Infi has less number of rounds as compared to InfiDQ. But the coding round of Hack with Infi is way more tougher with the combined level of the both rounds of InfiDQ. So let's move further. In coding rounds, there will be three coding questions given to you. The level of the first question is easy, another one is medium, and the third one is hard. The mistake which I made in this coding round was, I thought that the first question which will appear on my screen would be of easy level, and I started solving that as an easy level. But it was not of the easy level, it was of the hard level, and I wasted almost 20 to 25 minutes on that. The time duration for this round was 3 hours. Okay, now let's come to the marking scheme of this coding round. The easy question, let's consider the easy question is for 50 marks, then the hard question will be for 100, and the medium one will be for 75. So, if you want to get the role of power programmer, you should at least solve two coding questions. In my case, I solved one of the hard level and another one of the easy level. Now, the thing with the emphasis is patience. It took them around two months to declare the results of the coding round and another one month I had to wait for my interview to be scheduled. So it's all about patience. When I received my mail for interview, the first thing I did was check the profile of my interviewer on LinkedIn. Check his skill sets. When I checked his skill sets, his skill sets were mainly in the web domain, the web development, and even I had created many projects in that domain and even deployed some of them on the live server. So I knew how to play my cards in the interview. So when he started with the interview and asked me to introduce myself, I really played my cards well and drifted the interview in the direction which I wanted. Then he asked me about the first round, how many questions did I solve and what was the level. Then he said, explain the project which you think is the best you have created. And he even asked that, can I demonstrate any one of my projects in the interview? I just posted the live link of the project in the chat box. He was quite impressed with that. After that, he jumped to the coding question. He asked me to write a program to print all the permutations of a string. Now here, you have to write the code from scratch. Okay, you, do, you are not provided with a function or anything. You have to open your code editor and write the code. And then the interviewer will test this code on his own system. So it took around 20 minutes for me to come up with the logic, 15 to 20 minutes, and to type the code. After that, he jumped to questions where he asked me the pillars of OOP. And if you guys are familiar with Java language, you might know the concepts of association, aggregation, and composition. He also told me to explain those. Then he moved to DBMS and he asked me about the different keys and with the example, what are the differences between them. Then he asked me about the index in DBMS. And the follow-up question to that was disadvantage of index. This was the question which I was not able to answer. Okay, then he moved on and he said that tell me the difference between primary key, null key and unique key. I answered that one. So here he winded up the interview 
and later he moved on to the HR in the HR standard questions where like where do you see yourself in five years and tell me something about yourself and at the end the formal question that do you have any questions for me here I asked him that in the interview experiences that I have read they said that the interview lasts for around one to one and a half hour but here you just wind it up in 45 minutes are you not satisfied with my answers he said no that's not the case that he was not feeling well so i thought okay i just got lucky and then he winded up the interview over there now <clears throat> this is how my interview ended and after around two months i got my result that yeah i am selected in infosys guys don't go wait i have something for you guys now these are all the companies which i am placed at or my interviews are scheduled so if you guys are preparing for your placement drives and need any guidance you are free to contact me you can either uh, comment in the comment box below or you you can follow the instagram page code doc the link for the page is mentioned in the description i provide content for that page where i provide daily posts and daily interview questions which I, I have encountered and even my friends have encountered okay so if you guys like this content please give a thumbs up I have also created a video where I have shared all my resources through which I cracked the hack with Infi okay the link for that video is mentioned in the top right corner do watch that video and if this video is helpful to you guys in any way please subscribe to the channel like the video and mention in the comment box if you get selected in infosys stay safe